a small key with a tag attached labeled Storage A5. Maybe there's a self-storage facility in town. It looks a lot like the key I found in the attic. Maybe they're somehow related. Okay, there's a place in town. Got the address, I should head over there. Storage A5. This is it. This might come in handy. I don't believe this. They're ruined. He must have used that paint thinner on the paintings. That means there's only a single painting left. The one in the cabin. Empty. Found a tape in there. There's also something else. A custody appeal form. For me? July 15th, 1981? I don't believe it. He... He tried to get me back from my mom. Right to the very end. Pull yourself together, Kathy. This is Joseph Rain. Operation Log, Part 4. August 8th, 1981. The area appears to be circular with along the outer perimeter. I've determined that some kind of endothermic reaction is taking place. So it's important to be observant of changes in temperature. Find the source by severing the link. Perhaps I can save them, Jimmy and all the others. Reoccurring dream. I'm standing in front of a huge black hole in a clearing in the woods. There's a man dressed in red urging me to jump. I'm afraid to, but I take the plunge anyway. For some reason, I don't think I have anything to lose. As I'm falling, I reach for the parachute cord. But to my horror, there's nothing there. 
That's when I wake up. Anybody home? Guess not. Locked. Hmm. It's a simple tumbler lock. hidden picture oh my god that's Nathan he's holding a girl underwater it must be Lily wait that doesn't make any sense Lily wrote a suicide note so either she planned this or or saw it Nathan? Yes? I know about Lily, Nathan. I like Lily. Nathan, tell me what happened the day Lily died. I don't know. It's okay, Nathan. I'm a friend. I know the Red Man, too. You... you do? Yes. He told me to ask you about what happened to Lily. He said that you would tell me the truth, because you are honest. You're honest. Aren't you, Nathan? Lily was angry that time. Angry and sad. Mostly angry. Angry with you? Angry with everybody. Mama was asleep, Papa too. Okay, what happened next? Lily wanted to go down to the lake. She told me to hold her under the water for a while. She said I had to. She had painted it, and everything she painted was supposed to happen. I, I didn't want to, but Lily said she would tell Mama that I was bad if I didn't. But the Red Man says it was an accident, and that Lily is in a better place. It's okay, Nathan. Lily was sick. It's not anyone's fault. When did you first meet the Red Man? I don't know. I, I see him in the woods sometimes. He and Lily always fought. They did? Uh, about what? He wanted Lily to take her medicine. What kind of medicine? Pills to make her less sad and angry? I don't know. Just medicine. But you know what? It's okay. I still talk to her all the time. You talk to Lily? And she talks back? Yes. Take me to her, Nathan. Take me to Lily. You promise not to tell Mama? I won't. I promise. Take me there. Okay. See? <sighs> Get away from them, Nathan. They're dangerous. <laughs> no! They're nice! Look! Maybe they can't affect him for some reason. Poor little Mender met her end. Witnessed so much she could not comprehend. 
claimed by the lake, she screamed to her god, struggled for air as she twisted and clawed. But all was in vain, and her cries went unheard. Twas a heartbreaking theater of the absurd. <coughs> there, there, you're being dramatic. No pain, no gain. At least that color looks good on you. Astute observation, Bill. This room does hold the key. Well then, it's been a pleasure talking to you. Jesus. Nathan? How long was I out? safe. There's also a poem here written by Father Bill. I copied it to my notepad. Digit code. Good to know. In the text, Father Bill's family members are used as reference points. Could he be referring to the physical layout of the graves? I copy the grave layout to my notebook next to the poem. Of course! The sign of the Lord! Some of the graves can form the shape of a cross! Now, if I can only figure out which dates are relevant... Yes! That must be it! Three dawns mean three births, and they're all adjacent to Father Bill's grave. I'm sure I'm close now, I just have to somehow narrow down these to the correct number of digits. From lasting to brief, year, month, day, that's gotta be it! a bunch of torn out Bible pages and a tape in there.
million tree price. My visions concerning my sons are troubling. I've watched them become corrupted with pride, turning their backs on our prophet, the Crimson One. I've seen the history of the church wiped clean, replaced with trickery and lies. This message is part of a fail-safe, should these predictions come to pass. I've hidden it so that only the true agents of the old God, selected by the Crimson One, may find it. Now, heed these words. You must stare into the abyss and let the abyss stare back into you. It's the only way to cleanse yourself of sin and achieve true salvation. May God be with you. Hi, Grandma. Listen, I found something in this storage unit. Oh? What was it? Custody papers, with my name on them. I was hoping you wouldn't have to see those. I need to know what happened, Grandma. <sighs> Sharon was never a good mother to you, Kathy. I know. It was the illness. She tried her best. It wasn't all bad. You don't know the despicable things she and Brian did. Drugs. Violence. We wanted something better for you. Joseph started talking to lawyers, staying up late at night on the phone, trying to find a way, some kind of loophole to get you back. But eventually we ran out of courts to appeal to, and your mother retaliated with a restraining order. And that was it. She had won. I wish things could have been different. I do too, dear. Every day. Now you're getting me close to tears. Let's talk about something else. Okay, Grandma. Have you heard about someone or something called the Crimson One? Goodness, dear. You're giving me the chills. I distinctly recall your grandfather mumbling that word in his sleep. Crimson. He did? After he had the injury? Yes, he rarely spoke at all, but that's the single word... I can clearly remember. Strange. Okay, that's all I need. Good luck out there. I have more things to say to you. Speak what you will, godless one. Listen to this, Isaac. This is William T. Price. My what is this? My my sons are troubling. I've watched them become corrupted with pride, turning their backs on our prophet, the Crimson One. I've seen the history of the church wiped clean, replaced with trickery and lies. This message is part of a fail thing. I don't believe it. Father saw all of this coming. God, have I strayed from the faith? It's not too late to redeem yourself, Isaac. I've met the Crimson One. We're on the same side. Preposterous. No one has witnessed that apostate since Father's death. I've been north of the lake, but he's nowhere to be found. He abandoned us all, and the divine work now rests upon my shoulders. You believe that you are carrying out the work of the Crimson One? Don't think I can't hear that mocking tone of yours. I will speak of this no longer. He mentioned North of the Lake. That's part of Conwell Woods. I'll probably have to narrow it down more, but it's something. Father. Have you abandoned me? 
I will atone for my sins, I swear it. God have mercy on me. I'll just borrow this for a while. <laughs>